Hello and welcome to part 1 of the Oracle Apex Tutorial 2 Creating a Parameterized Report brought to you by MS Consulting. On the screen is a brief breakdown of what we will be covering in this section as well as the location of a full article with in-depth information and the starting point and requirements for this tutorial. As with our other tutorials, the first thing we need to do is we need to log into Apex. So you can navigate to the Apex login page however you choose. And once again, log in to the workspace where the OEHR sample data was created and installed too. And then we're going to go to Application Builder on the Application Builder tab. and we're going to click, click Create a re an Application. You can see here that we have a couple other applications from our previous tutorials and the built-in sample one as well. And we're going to be creating an application. We're going to click Next. And we're going to define it. We're going to give it a name of Parameterized Report. and we'll accept the other defaults. We'll let the system decide the application number. We are creating it from scratch and the schema is whatever schema the OEHR data is in. Now we need to add a blank page so we're going to select our blank page and then what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down where there's a box that will let us name the page Here we will name the page and we'll give it a name of employees. We'll scan back up and add. And you'll see it'll add the page with the page name we gave it. Go next. We're doing one level of tabs. and we do not need any shared components from other applications and for attributes we'll accept the defaults that they give us so we don't need to make any changes here and under user interface we're going to select theme 18 and we'll double check our options and we'll click create I will give you a word of warning. This tutorial is a little more complicated and in-depth than the previous ones we've done. We recommend that you have a window open with the full article to help reduce errors. Now the application has been created, so we're going to go into Employees by clicking on the Employees page. And the first thing that we need to do is we have to create a couple regions. So over here under page rendering you'll see the region section and we're going to click the sheet of paper with the plus sign on it that will let us create a new region and the first region we're going to create is so we're going to create an HTML region click next and it's a base HTML region we don't need any of the extra options for this one Then we have to give it a title. So I'm going to give it a title of search. And we're going to accept all the other defaults that it gives us. And we're going to say next. And it's nothing else, so we just create it and now we're going to create another region so we're going to go back to where we were click the create region again and this time we're going to be creating a report region so we're going to click report click next 
and it's going to be an SQL report and we're going to give the region a title so we're going to name it employees and we can accept the other ones. You'll also notice we're putting this and p1 underscore text period. That's very important that you put that in. That's an identifier which we'll touch on in a moment. Now here's where we enter the SQL that will drive the report. You can try typing this in as I, as I punch it in or this is one of the reasons we recommend that you have a window open with the full article and this uh, this SQL query is on that article and can just be simply copy and pasted in. One of the problems with trying to just copy it off of a screen or off of another manual is that you run a higher risk of typographical errors. such as I made one. So we'll come down here and we'll fix those errors real quick. one last check over and click create region again and it works the region was created now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do what's create a couple of items this is also under the page rendering I'm going to click create item and the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to create a text box and it's going to be just a plain old text field and we have to give it a name in this case we're going to say p1 underscore name we also have to define what region it's going to be in in this case it's going to be in the search region then we can give it a name in this case we're going to name it search employees and click next and for the source everything that's here is okay so we're going to click create item and that item has been created now we have to create another item scroll back down and click create item and this time we're going to create a hidden object which as its name implies is hidden from the user it's going to be hidden and protected and we have to give it a name I'm going to call it p1 underscore text and we're going to assign a region that it's going to be in. In this case it's going to be in the employees and underscore p1 text. We double check it make sure we have the right name on it. In this case we do. The other defaults are okay. It's going to ask us again for the source and the source is okay. That's the end of part one due to time. We will pick up exactly where we left off here with part two in a moment.